In this video, I'll be showing you how you can automatically assign team members in any database using a simple Notion formula automation. We just need two databases, one for teams, and any one database you automatically want to assign your team members to. You just need a person property for each database, and then we'll just need to set up a quick relation before we get started. If you haven't noticed already, we don't have a formula property in either database because the automation exists at the database automation level. And so we're going to be using dynamic variables that use Notion formulas to lay the groundwork for this automation. Having that distinction matters now because we have Notion formula automations and Notion formulas. Notion automations can now interpret Notion formula syntax and change the way we approach our workflows. This is going to be a rather short video because it's a formula that we've been using throughout this channel, the map formula function. And it's also a simple and great demonstration of the brand new Notion variables that we can use within these Notion automations. So let's dive right into it. We click on the lightning symbol. In our case, we're going to do it so when a relation gets edited, we're going to add these new team members. Now that we're working in this Notion automations dialog box instead of a Notion formulas property, it's important to make sure you save your work by saving changes and copying the formulas that you write. We're going to go to new automation. And in our case, let's first make a team so that we can demonstrate this in an easy way. I'm going to create the dream team and add myself across my three different accounts uh, just for this example. I'm going to be creating a new database entry. And the idea is when I select the dream team, for example, the assignment for that database becomes the people on this team. And so we're going to be creating a automation that does exactly that. It's not perfect, but it should sort of help you get started. We want to make sure that when team is edited, this action happens. And so unfortunately, there's not a action for when team is added. So we're going to have to rely on team is edited. And then we're going to create a new action and define a variable. Defining a variable is really important. And this is where I'm talking about the syntax of Notion formulas. If we hover to the right and go to that formula symbol, it opens a dialog box for Notion formulas, just like in a Notion database, and we can start creating our dynamic variable. As you can imagine, using the map function is pretty straightforward. In our case, we want to pull the people associated with the team based on the relation that's been added. We want to map that relation and show the people on it and use the map formula function to do that. We're focusing on a trigger page. We want to start with that and we also want to signify the relation of this trigger page. And so using dot notation, we can add period and then scroll down to teams and click on it if we wanted to signify that we're mapping the relation of the trigger page and teams. Now we want to find the people associated with that. And so we always start with a current formula function like we have in all of our past videos. And I'm going to add another period to signify the people that are part of these teams using the person property. We can close that out and now we've just mapped the people that were associated with the trigger pages team relation and so this is the variable that we're defining we can save it and we know the formula works because there's no error messages on the bottom now we want to next use this variable and do something with it right and like i mentioned we want to modify the people property of this database that is related to teams we're going to edit the person and a custom formula. And then we're going to pull up another formula dialog box to mention and use this dynamic variable that we just created. Notice how it says variable one. In our case, we define this as variable one. We can name this to team members, for example. And so when we go back to our custom formula, team members appears as that variable name. And so we just want to save the variable name and we can replace the people with my value, which is the team member's value that we just defined with this formula. Now we can create, and it says my automation has been created. It's really important to get this message because otherwise you might be at risk for discarding the automation without saving it. So now that we've set up this automation, let's see what happens when we create that trigger and add a team for the dream team. Bam, notice how the person property gets populated with everybody from that team based on that relation that we just attached to this database entry. 
Now this any database might be confusing at first, but we can do this. This can be the task database. This could be the project database. This could be the client database, right? This database can be anything you want because all we really need are two people properties and a relation and then a database automation to replicate this across any database. And so in some projects I've worked and led in the past, we've started with a Teams database, which connects to eight or nine other databases related to the company's operational structure. And so in this case, we could set up this automation across all those databases and auto assign team members by adding a relation to that specified database entry. In some cases, maybe we don't want to include everyone on the team. And so a quick sort of workaround or supplement to that would be to create a button and create a unassign function so that if the wrong person on team gets tagged or someone forgets to untag someone for a unrelated task, we can create a button to unassign. And so we can go to the person property. We can click on this toggle and do remove whoever clicked, done, and then save. And so let's say I wanted to assign task to the dream team. So when we do that, it's going to trigger a Notion formula automation and populate this person property with that team. Now let's say one of these accounts isn't supposed to be doing this new task. And so they can quickly click on unassign and remove themselves like that within the person property or the people property or whatever you want to call it. Really quick Notion formula automation there. One very basic formula function that I have shared continuously on this channel. And the most important distinction here is the trigger page. Hope this can help you out. If not, you can use this within your Notion clients if you have any or any templates you might be creating in the future to enhance your workflows. I'm going to be leaning on shorter videos in the near future when it comes to these Notion formula automations. I think there's so much more that you can do and so many more layers that you can add on top of the very basic things that I'm sharing in this video, but just want to sort of slowly introduce the opportunity and the capabilities of these brand new Notion formula automations. If you made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.